What's up guys, I'm Cheyenne, that's Hell Book Girl. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some hockey romances with you. I'm really surprised that I'm filming right now because we're in the middle of a category one hurricane. If you don't know, I live in Florida and it's like the thick of it is getting ready to start. So I'm trying to get this video filmed, but I'm really excited about this. This video is a collab with Tori from Novel Life. You guys know how much I love Tori. I rave about her and her channel. Um, she's one of my closest friends here on booktube and we decided that we would come together and share some hockey romances with you hockey and baseball and sports romance are supreme to me and they will always be my favorite so these books that i'm going to share are my favorite hockey romances that i have read i've had i've read a lot of good ones and i've read a lot of like really bad ones but these ones are my favorite and the ones that worked for me and I'm really excited to share them with you. All right, the first book I'm gonna share is Kiss and Don't Tell by Megan Quinn. This is the first book in Megan Quinn's Vancouver Agitator series. And in this book, we're following Pacey and Winnie. Um, Winnie is traveling from out of state and well, actually, I think it's pretty much, I think it's out of country. And she ends up getting stranded when she's like on her way driving through somewhere. Her car breaks down. She has to get out of the car and try to find help. But she's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And she ends up seeing this like cabin up the hill. So she walks up to this cabin, knocks on the door, opens it and finds out that it's where all of the Vancouver agitator hockey players are staying for the summer. And they invite her to stay with them. And that's when she meets Pacey, who's our hero. And Pacey is one of the hockey players and he is immediately smitten by Winnie. Winnie is a little bit of spitfire. She talks back, she fights back. Her and Pacey actually have like a history that they're very unaware of, of how their paths have crossed before. Um, and it's a very angsty forced proximity romance. One of my favorites. Um, I feel like Megan Quinn has wrote this series so well, especially for, you know, the setting and the timing of it. It just worked in all ways for me and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you love the forced proximity, like with them stuck in a house and all that super spicy, um, a really good one. All right, the next book I'm gonna recommend is Home Game by Odette Stone. I, there's no surprise how much I love this book and if you have not read it already, I feel like now should be your sign. In this book, we're following Ryan and Zoe and Ryan is a professional hockey player and he has just moved down to Vancouver and he is like, getting on this team that they're not very thrilled that he's going to be playing for them. So he hasn't had like the biggest welcome and he meets Zoe in a coffee shop when he's like working on his finances. He's very clueless. And Zoe happens to be um, an expert in that. And she offers her assistance. Um, Zoe also happens to be homeless and there's kind of like a little bit of an altercation where Zoe's trying to get to the homeless shelter that she lives at. She doesn't outright tell Ryan that in the beginning, but she's like, I'm going to be late. If I don't make it here by eight o'clock, like they're going to close it down. And he has no idea what she's talking about. And so he offers to give her a ride. He ends up keeping her a little longer than she was supposed to. So she ends up showing up late to the shelter and has nowhere to stay because they lock the doors. So Ryan offers her to stay with him. And this is where their romance begins. Um, this is definitely one of those books that is so slow burn, but in the best way possible because it needs to be. There's definitely an unequal playing field here between Zoe and Ryan that needs to be met. Like Zoe really has to... Um, get back up on her feet and she does that with the help of Ryan but she doesn't want it to be something that's always um, I owe you for this like you've done this for me and we're not equal partners and their romance is very slow it starts as a friendship and um, things just escalate from there and it is so good the slow burn is amazing this is definitely my favorite book in this series so um, I highly recommend it the next book I'm going to recommend is Those Three Little Words by Megan Quinn. I know this is another Megan Quinn book, but she writes hockey romance so well. In this book, we're following Eli and Penny. And Eli is another one of the players on the Vancouver Agitators hockey team. And Penny happens to be Pacey from Kiss and Don't Tell, his younger sister. Um, Pacey is very protective of Penny. And it's been made very clear that he expects no one on his team to hit on his sister. And Eli has kind of like always noticed her, but known, but known she was like a no-go. And Penny has always been like fascinated and head over heels for Eli. They're celebrating a birthday at a bar and um, both of them are drunk. They happen to run into each other like by chance, not planned. And they end up having a night together and Penny ends up pregnant. So this is a surprise pregnancy, which does not normally, does not normally work for me. But I freaking loved this book. And let me say this too, you don't have to read the first one in order to read this one. You can read them entirely separately, but I do recommend reading in order because the characters in Kiss and Don't Tell are so amazing. So it makes this one even better. You'll enjoy the company that they keep in this even more. 
Um, Penny ends up pregnant, but Eli really tries to be the best guy and stand up and like tries to prove to people that he's capable of being a father and taking care of his baby mama. Um, he's quite a womanizer, so changing his ways is very difficult, but he is so smitten with Penny that it's just like comes naturally for him. Um, when I tell you that this book has all of the pregnancy things that women go through that are just freaking embarrassing and hilarious. And I, I died laughing this entire book, like physically to where my stomach was aching. I was laughing so hard and that very rarely happens in books. Um, and this book was the perfect amount of like slow burn, like angsty tension because they have to move in together, but also the steam and the spice was amazing. Amazing. Megan Quinn books, they're either like really spicy or they're just like, eh, eh, okay. Um, this entire series delivers on that. I loved it. I, I could not recommend the series enough. Eli and Penny are just, uh, I love them so much. All right, and the next book I'm gonna recommend is The Deal by L. Kennedy. This is one of my OG comfort read books that I pick up every now and then because it just like warms my heart and soul. Really, this entire series is so good. Um, in this book, we're following Garrett and Hannah, and Garrett is failing college. Hannah is trying to win the attention of this jock at her college, and Garrett happens to know him, and Garrett's like, listen, I'm super popular at this school. Let me help you out. Like, I'll help you make him jealous. Like, we'll pretend to date, have this thing going on between us, and we'll try to get his attention. And in return, you help tutor me so that I can pass college and or pass this class or whatever the case may be. So they have this like deal with each other. And this is where their romance starts. Um, Garrett does not realize how overprotective and possessive he is over Hannah until he starts witnessing her with another guy. So if you want the little bit of like the jealous, the jealous tension, um, you will get that in this book. Like there are so many stolen moments from across like a party or whatever the case may be where Garrett is fuming over the attention that Hannah gets from the other guy. Um, I love moments like that. It's one of my favorite things to read about, especially from heroes. And also you get from, you know, Hannah's perspective, like Garrett is normally a player and you see her really struggle with like trying to navigate this friendship, which is borderline crossing into feelings. And this is just such a sweet book. The spice is there. Um, everything that I want in a hockey sports romance is there. I love it. Last book I'm gonna recommend is Consider Me by Becca Mack. I really need to buy this paperback because it's one of my favorite books. Um, in this one, we're following Carter and Olivia. Carter is a professional hockey player and Olivia does not know who Carter is. She actually meets Carter through her best friend and her best friend has waited to introduce the two of them because she knows that Carter will be smitten with Olivia. And that's exactly how it happens. Carter wants Olivia from the second that he sees her. He's very much a player. He comes right out and says that like, um, I don't do commitments. I don't want to be tied down. I like to get around and spread my legs however I can or however you want to word that. Um, he's quite the womanizer. And Olivia, when she finds out who he is, she knows that and she's like, uh-uh, I'm not gonna be another notch on your bedpost so you can just say goodbye to me and like let this little obsession that you have go. Well, that's not happening with Carter because the whole point of the book and the reason it's titled Consider Me is because he spends his entire, like most of the story trying to get her to consider him. And she plays hard to get. She doesn't want to be one of those little puck bunnies that like falls at his feet. That's just not her. She's too strong for that. And she doesn't want to fall to him in that way. But Carter's personality is so infectious. And he is like the epitome of a cinnamon roll hero, a dirty talking, but sweet, loving, caring, affectionate, like tentative and intentional type of book boyfriend or hero or whatever you want to call him in this case. Um, he wins her over and he won me over. I was just swooning the entire time by his gestures and how kind he was. And, um, you know, when the dirty side came out, I was like, okay, you got a little 50, 50 going on here. So made me really happy to see that their chemistry was just electric. Um, when they finally got together, I was like highlighting the crap out of my Kindle because there were so many things that were swoon worthy. And I, I just loved, I ate it up. I loved it so much. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend this romance hockey, all of the best things, cinnamon roll hero, totally recommend.
All right, guys, so that's all I have for my hockey romances. Um, I feel like the list is not super long, but these are ones that I think if you're wanting a hockey romance, this is your best bet to get at least a five star read because these are all five stars for me. I think the only I gave one of them four and a half stars, which still to me is incredible. So loved all of them, highly recommend, and I definitely think you should check them out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you check out Tori's channel. I'll link that in her video down below. Um, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.